<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Shelby on Safari. I hope you're well. I have some friends here with me because we are exploring Longleat Safari Park and you're coming with us. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> Located in the beautiful county of Wiltshire, Longleat Safari Park is quite the journey to get to from my house. In fact, we pass something far, far older than the Longleat house that you'll get to see up close later. Recognize that off in the distance? Coming soon into the center of the frame? Oh yes, friends, that is Stonehenge. And yeah, we're on an A road, which is a bit smaller than a motorway, and literally just driving past this World Heritage Site. It's insane. We fast forward now into the grounds of Longleat. It's beautiful, green, and wow, there is a lot to see here. This is Half Mile Pond, and over there you can see one of the Jungle Cruise boats. But stay tuned to the end to join us on our Jungle Cruise. For now though, let's head past the house into the main park where we can walk around and see some animals. There's of course a drive through part of Longleat, but today we're focusing on the bits that you can see by foot. There's a lot to see by foot, so we started off in Jungle Kingdom because I was after meeting a Binturong. Also known as the bear cat, these guys, as you can see, have a mighty impressive prehensile tail. In fact, if you want to learn more about the Binturong, check out my video on five fast facts you need to know about the bear cat, which you can see after this video in the description down below. While I'd happily stand here and watch the Benturong for hours, it's time now to meet the giant anteater, who is just next door to the Benturong. Look how cute they are! As their name suggests, they are rather giant. In fact, they're the largest of all four anteater species. From the tip of their snout to the end of their tail, the giant anteater can reach eight feet long. Whoa! We'll catch you later, Benito. For now, it's time for us to walk through with the meerkats. Oh, this was a definite highlight of the day because you got to get up close and personal with these amazing animals. Of course, you don't want to touch them because, well, they bite. However, you get some pretty amazing encounters and photos of these adorable animals. Oh, look, here comes one now. Why, hello, little friend. Oh, look at that face. How sweet. Now let's head back to the lorikeets. You know, the ones we saw earlier. <laughs> this is so cool. So we're in the walkthrough rainbow lorikeet enclosure where you can pay just to town to get a little bit of nectar. Now rainbow lorikeets have an amazing tongue. They have papillae at the tip of it to help them eat pollen and nectar. And these guys, well, they're certainly enjoying their little feast from visitors, which is exciting. It's such a cool experience to be able to have them land on you and walk through with them. Now these guys in the wild, they typically live in pairs and up to flocks of 20 individuals. And here there are so many, it's so exciting. And they're also quite chatty. In fact, I'm gonna go have a chat with some of them now. Meet another giant of South America. No, it's not a giant anteater, but alas, a giant otter. 
And they too get their name, rightly so, because they are the longest member of the weasel family, reaching up to 1.7 meters in length. And, oh, looks like this guy's headed back into the water. Oh, look at that! Nice flip turn, Mr. Giant Otter! Well done! Oh, you could be a competitive swimmer at that rate! These two beauties are Cuban crocodiles, which sadly are considered critically endangered might say the Cuban crocodile is like a real-life Pokemon. Maybe one like Totodile? To check out that video, click the link in the description down below. For now though, let's head over to the koala exhibit here at Longleat Safari Park. Can you spot the sleeping koala? How about now? Look at that blue sky behind the koala. Oh, what a life. Gee whiz. So here we have England's only koalas, which is so exciting to be able to see them, although they are sleeping. But that's because, well, that's what they do best. They need to sleep to be able to digest their food, which is eucalyptus, which is why I'm a big fan of koalas because I'm actually allergic to eucalyptus. But anyways, let's talk about some of their amazing adaptations. So you can see he's in a precarious position just like that. And it might not be comfortable to us, but it is for them because safety is at the height of the trees. They have a curved spine, a round bottom, and a pretty small tail to help them stay nice and nestled in the crook of the branches. They also have two opposing thumbs on each hand to help them hang on. But most of the time, as you can see, my friends here are enjoying some sunshine and some Z's. Let's see what else we can find here at Longleat Safari Park. I gotta say, I was rather impressed with the Koala Creek exhibit at Longleat. Beautiful outdoor enclosures and some indoor ones as well for when the weather gets a bit gnarly. But I highly recommend you spend some time here. Turns out another animal I could watch for hours on end quite happily is the Siberian chipmunk. It was fascinating watching him burrow down and also watching to see if other people could spot the chipmunk while he was hard at work. In fact, all his hard work made me hungry for some pizza. It was absolutely delicious and just the thing I needed before going on the Jungle Cruise. This Jungle Cruise was a little bit different than the one I'm used to at Disneyland. Firstly, because, well, while waiting to depart from the docks, there was a red panda. I know, crazy, right? You don't get that at the Magic Kingdom. Ah, uh, well, look at that face. Oh my goodness. On this jungle cruise, there's not just animals to see on land. Oh no. You gotta look in the water as well. Let's see if we can spot any of these animals in the water swimming about, shall we? Oh, I think I saw something. Oh, what are those ripples from? Ha <laughs> ha! A California sea lion, of course. Oh man, how fantastic! Now, if you look really carefully, you may be able to see some gorillas off in the distance. What an amazing waterfront enclosure, though. Am I right? But 
time to look back in the water because, man, I couldn't get enough of seeing the beautiful California sea lions. And boy, were they a bit noisy, though, as well. When the skipper ran out of fish, the sea lions left as well. They were only here for the fish anyways. It was time now for us to pass by the Colobus Monkey Enclosure. Talk about another incredible view for the animals. Turns out there was another surprise for us on the Jungle Cruise. Two resting hippos. Can you spot them? Oh my goodness, aren't they gorgeous? Speaking of gorgeous, here's a view, well kind of, but now behind the trees, of Longleat House. Longleat House was built in the 16th century by Sir John Thin on the site of a dissolved priory. While I mentioned the drive through safari in the beginning, we decided to stick to the areas we could walk around, which aren't only limited to seeing animals. You can walk through the gardens of this beautiful house. Wow. Isn't it stunning? So guys, it's been an incredible day, not to mention still gorgeous and sunny. I've seen amazing animals, and I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the amazing enclosures here at Longleat Safari Park. I know for sure I enjoyed going on the Jungle Cruise, as well as the Koala Creek exhibit. That had to be my favorite one. But which one was your favorite to see? Let me know down in the comments below. And by the way, did you happen to see how much Binturong footage there was? Well, that's because I'm a little bit biased and I love a binturong. In fact, if you haven't already, be sure to click on that video that I did here. Go on, click it. I'll see you in that video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the binturong video.